the million dollar question when patients come to see me in clinic is how do I balance my hormones? Uh, it seems like this kind of mythical unicorn thing out there, but you've seen this theme play out in a lot of people's presentations that although we're talking about diets and low carb diets and ketogenic therapies and metabolic therapies, it's so much more than our nutrition, especially when it comes to, to our hormones and metabolic health. Things like exercise, which I'm super passionate about. Um, I love Dr. Colin Champ's presentation yesterday with the breast cancer patients that he presented talking about how people with muscle, it's very protective to our metabolic health and muscle is an organ of longevity. And especially for women, as we make these transitions that you're gonna hear me talk about through our years of fertility and into menopause, muscle can be one thing that's super protective to our metabolic health. Sleep, like Dr. Schur just said, uh, a very underutilized tool in our, our health arsenal. Um, definitely affects our hormones. Uh, stress, breath work, you guys have seen some of these breakout presentations, social interaction, breath work, all these things are other ways that we can further support our uh, metabolic health. And then environment, so you know, as a mom of three girls, we're kind of living in this amazing age of technology and things like that, but there's so many things that we interact with in our environment that can be endocrine disruptors, can affect our estrogen, can affect our metabolic health, and so there, these are just all the little pillars, like I like to call them, that can affect a woman's health and a patient that's sitting across from me in the clinic.